not a big deal like stretch marks are beautiful like embrace your stretch marks um i didn't try to prevent them you know what i mean and yet i got like two lines that's two hey guys welcome to my channel it's me rita aka pearl light to my light gang light fam squad deep come closer come closer come closer got the juice guys I've got the juice for you the juice part two so stick around and if you're new to my channel stick around too and if you like my vibe go ahead and subscribe and join the like game okay do you see that earring action I'll zoom in okay anyway, let's get into the video guys hey 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 light fam guys if you haven't clicked that bell thingy next to the subscribe thing I don't know what to say to you guys anymore because I tell you every single time. But click the bell next to the subscribe so you get notified every time I post a new video. Let's go. Those of you who don't know yet, I am pregnant with my second baby now. Um, I had done like my reveal video, I'll link it somewhere. And I did a video with my sister, I'll link it at the end of the video or in the description box down below so you guys can check that out. But yes. With my first pregnancy, I did a video about stretch marks or like products that I'm using to avoid getting stretch marks. And let's just say um, there were specific ones and new ones that I'm using this time around to prevent stretch marks. Uh, just a disclaimer, if you are one of those women who don't mind getting stretch marks, who don't want to prevent them, um, like it's not a big deal for you. Mm. This one, this video, it's not for you. You can go watch another one of my videos. You're welcome. Um, yeah, this is not for you. Cause I've seen women, um, and I get, I get where they're coming from, but I've seen women talking about stretch marks from pregnancy as a thing of, okay, like it's not a big deal. Like stretch marks are beautiful. Like embrace your stretch marks. Um, I didn't try to prevent them. You know what I mean? And yet I got like two lines. That's true. So I understand, like I'm saying, I understand where they're coming from. If you get stretch marks, even though you try to prevent them, then it's a thing that you will grow to accept or grow to love, or maybe not, and you'll still try to get rid of them. That's your personal choice. For me, I personally, me, I don't like stretch marks. I don't find them sexy. For me, you get what I'm saying? Like on me, like I just don't enjoy them. Um, but it's it's also another thing where it's like I link it to my child Or I blame my child for it or any negativity in that sense. It's just purely vanity Like it's purely I don't like the look of it. I'm gonna try and prevent it. Just being honest so Anyway, um, like I said if you're for stretch marks, you don't want to prevent them then you shouldn't have clicked on this video but I'm glad you did because You can watch my other stuff now um, yeah, so anyway, let me get into it and let me just, I'll also share the, 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 the tips or the key things that you can do to really prevent the stretch marks if you don't want them. Um, yeah, so in my part one video, like with my first pregnancy, um, the products that I remember using, um, again, I'll link it or I've linked it somewhere so you can watch it. I had used, um, basically Palmer's products. I used the Palmer's, um, stretch mark cream. The pregnancy stretch mark stretch stretch mark cream and I also use the tummy butter. Um, I don't remember using anything else. I use um, a tissue oil as well. Guys, what you need to remember is that stretch marks, basically stretch marks is your skin stretching because of growth. Whether it's your booty growing, it's your belly growing, your thighs are growing, is wherever your arms, guys, even your everybody. You know, whatever it is, stretch marks is just tension from your skin stretching because your skin, I think naturally, maybe some people have more elastin than other people or some people's skin is stretchier or can, can withstand more tension than other people's. So basically that's what stretch marks are, it's just scarring from the tension of your skin stretching most of the time it's stretching rapidly so like a rapid weight gain or like a rapid weight loss 
that's how you get stretch marks so basically um the mistakes that i made in the previous um pregnancy in terms of stretch marks was that i didn't put the um ointments or the oils or whatever on basically all the areas that would stretch because i didn't know that certain areas would stretch you know what i mean until the very last minute where it's like i forgot i forgot about you you know anyway um so and one of the things that i did do that is a to do is to start using and these products can work whether you have whether you're pregnant or you're not Skin is skin, butt skin, belly skin, whatever, skin. So the thing that I did do right was that I started using these products before projects. I started using these products before my skin started to expand. So before I even had a belly, I was using the tummy um, butter. Um, uh, my thighs, I really wasn't that diligent because I didn't know I would get stretch marks there. So I got stretch marks on my thighs and I started using um, the tissue oil after the fact when it was now too late. So I'm going to show you guys the products that I'm using now. Um, these are like holy grail products. I don't think I'll ever use anything else because these work, you know what I mean? And they're pretty affordable. Um, you'll gauge, like I feel like affordability is very um what's it called relative you know what i mean based on your budget based on uh your lifestyle based on whether you really want to use these said products or you'd rather use something more affordable but i found that these products that i'm using are one of the more affordable ones because i am a frugal poodle guys i'm frugal like if i don't have to spend the coin I won't spend the coin but anyway so let me go into the products the first product that is like top top class cream of the crop <sighs> palmas guys I stand I stand for palmas so it's this palmas tummy butter stretch marks um, yeah it's a butter basically so I'll show you the consistency of the butter it's basically pretty thick i uh, just like the beauty bloggers it's pretty thick um and i guess that's the key to why this works it's because it's like it's thick you know what i mean it really um moisturizes it penetrates as well like you won't be like oily the whole day you know you'll be oily like for those first couple of minutes after you apply it um, but it absorbs into the skin and that's why this works. So I use this in my first pregnancy and I'm using it in this one and I will continue to use it in my pregnancies to come because this thing works. And you know why I know it works? Because I had used this on my belly, right? But I neglected certain parts like in the back. You know what it says? Because I love you guys. Because I love you, I want to show you that this actually works. And it's not just, I'm not just running my mouth, I'm not just like, you know what I mean? So, I'll show you guys my belly. So, I had used it on my belly. And there are no stretch marks. So, I'm going to hide the parts that have stretch marks. Literally, I didn't get a single stretch mark on my belly. But, thinking, do you see those? I got stretch marks all on here because I didn't apply it here because I was like, it's tummy butter. My tummy is here, you know. So I didn't apply it here and I ended up getting stretch marks as well as this side as well. Um, you're welcome. So I didn't apply it in those areas and I ended up getting stretch marks. So basically, um, like I'm saying, that's how I knew that this works for a fact. You know what I mean? Like I knew. You can't tell me anything. Because I didn't get a single stretch mark. Not even one, guys. Not even one. 
And then the other product that I'm using currently in my second, um, which is the different product. I didn't use this one in my first pregnancy. I'm using it now. This is the also oh heavenly mum and cherub. Um, this one, the one with the argan oil. Um, basically, I bought this one for my butt and my thighs. Like I said before, guys, I got mad stretch marks on my thighs. Um, and I was just like, not this time around, guys. I'm gonna be smarter. I'm gonna be wiser. So I got this to use on my thighs. And the awesome thing about using this now is that it's preventative and it's also repairing the stretch marks that I got. Like it's lightening them up a bit. Um, and like I said, guys, this, it sounds vain. Like it shouldn't matter whether you get stretch marks or not from a pregnancy because it's a pregnancy, you know what I mean? But for me, it's just a thing of, I don't want them. You know, I don't. So I am going to prevent them. Now let's talk about price points. Um, the tummy butter, if I remember correctly, I'll just double check for you guys and put the price somewhere. This was around 56 pula. Um, and I think so far, I'm about four or five months pregnant right now. Maybe I've used two containers. Um, so maybe, yeah, somewhere there. Anyway, so even with this, like even postpartum, I continued using this. I continued using tissue oils on my stomach as it started going back to um, what it was before I fell pregnant, um, as well as on my thighs. I just continued because you are going to lose some weight. You know what I mean? And again, uh, some of the weight that you gain is like water retention or... Um, I don't know what else the other stuff is called. But basically, you will lose some weight like that. You get what I mean? And stretch marks can result. So continue using these products even after you've given birth. And then um, this also heavenly, I think it was like 70 pula, 60, 70 pula. Again, I'll check for you guys how much this cost. Um, and that as well, continue using it. Even if you're on a weight loss journey, before you start losing the weight, start using the product so that you prepare your skin um, and you load it up with elastin uh, and, and the good stuff that it needs for it to stretch comfortably and not to scar and use it throughout your weight loss journey use it even after you're done like you've reached your goal weight um just continue to use it as a preventative measure as a as a way to treat your skin thank your skin for doing what it has done treat yourself treat yourself with self loving anyway so that's the video guys i hope this is really helpful for you um please if you have any tips any um products that you use uh, either for your weight loss journey or for your pregnancy to prevent stretch marks or to get rid of stretch marks. Please, I'm not talking about uh, shredding or grating potatoes and applying them. I'm not that girl. Like, I love me a natural remedy, but not those ones. Anyway, so please comment down below any products that you've used that you swear by. Um, comment down below and any other questions that you guys have for me regarding this please leave them in the comment section down below and i will get to them thank you so much for watching this video guys again i hope this was helpful um and just another disclaimer if you do get stretch marks stretch marks are just a sign that your body put in work you know what i mean um and if you want to keep them keep them if you want to lighten them get rid of them do you boo do you you know because i feel like pregnancy is also something that can really hit or take a knock at your self-esteem you know there have been times again in this pregnancy where i've just felt like a fatty boom boom you know like just a fatty um, so if you feel like um, preventing stretch marks at least will make you feel a bit more gouda more sexier in your pregnancy and postpartum as well hey i don't blame you even me even me so yeah i will see you guys in my next video i hope you enjoy this don't forget to like subscribe if you're feeling my vibe and comment down below all that good stuff
Thank you so much, guys. Bye.